guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are doing a Stephen Curry era um Indiana Pacers rebuild so yeah we're back in the Stephen Curry era we are almost done not quite we almost are I'm gonna do every single NBA team like I said and we're back with and we got Indiana so so obviously this team probably didn't trust me the most obviously we have a Paul George, which is relatively young at this point. He is like 34 right now. He is 26 in this time with Indiana. So we have a young Paul George, um, I guess, in his prime, I guess, now. Or I don't know. But we have a younger Paul George. We're going to say that. We got Jeff Teague. We have a, I believe, rookie Miles Turner or second-year Miles Turner. Uh, Jeff Teague, obviously, one of the funniest players of all time. That is young. We got Glenn Robinson. We got an older Monte Ellis. Rodney Stuckey, Aaron Brooks, George's Nang. I don't even know George's Nang was on the pace to start his career, and that's really it. But, yeah, honestly, I want to probably get a high draft pick. So this year we're probably not going to be good. We have Jeff T, Rodney Stuckey, Paul George, that young, Turner, Glenn Robinson, Aaron Brooks, Monte Ellis, George's Nang, and then I'll just go over and now I'm going to chase this guy's real. But, yeah, probably not going to be good this year. Uh, power ranking will land just at 11th, so not good, but... I probably want to get it like Jason Tatum or Donovan Mitchell in this draft. That'll be really fun. But yeah, I'll just head straight into the um, end of the season. At the end of the season, Stephen Curry does win the MVP. Rookie of the year goes to Joel Embiid. Ty Lawson wins six men. Defensive player Giannis. Most of going to Nikola Jokic. Stephen Butler and the Raptors were really good. Um, all NBA first team, all NBA second team, all NBA third team. So. I'm gonna see if I can see Paul George on here, and I don't. So he does not make it. He does not make it. Doesn't make an all defensive team either. Interesting year to say the least. But we ended up missing the playoffs entirely. There's no plan at this point. There was a plan we would make it, but there's not a plan. So we did not make it as we went ten. And uh, so we were the tenth seed, thirty-two and fifty on this season, tied for the ten seeds. You can say the Sixers have the same record as us. So. Little to know, we will have a lottery pick this year. So, heading into the player stats, though, we had about 25 from PG, 12 from Jeff Teague, 12 from Miles Turner. Still don't know what's going on, going on with his hair. I mean, we had 9 from Dad Young, Rodney Stuckey with 9, Monte Ellis with 9, 9 from Aaron Brooks, and then 9 from Glitter Robinson. Monte Ellis, he got, no, he got traded to the Bucks and went to the Mavericks, then went to the Patriots. Okay, makes sense. All right. Now we're probably left with just Paul George, but I think well the Jazz, one of all teams, man. Uh, we got like Jamal Crawford retiring, but I'm gonna change to the draft lottery. It's not much I want to do right now, and we're gonna get to the seventh overall pick. Fingers crossed, we get lucky, man. As we are gonna finish with the seventh overall pick. All right, not bad. But the Sixers do not actually have the Lakers pick. I don't know why so the Sixers have it, so. I'll give this pick back to L.A., and then I'll see you guys with the next step. Fix the pick. So, Brian Wyatt is our head coach. I guess he has only on a one-year deal, so we'll just keep him, and they'll probably get a different option. But seventh overall pick, I am going to draft with this pick. We can see who falls. So, number one, Jason Tatum goes to the Knicks. Number two, Lori Marker into the Suns. The Celtics will take Donovan Mitchell. Lonzo Ball to the Magic. Jonathan Isaac goes. The Lakers will take Bam out of bio. Seven, we got Kuzma. I'm not going to take Kyle Kuzma. I've taken De'Aaron Fox probably a little too much, but he's here. He's here to take. I don't think we pass up on Fox. I, you're not going to lie. Donovan Mitchell would have been an interesting guy to get a few to fell. I really don't want to take Kyle Kuzma here. It doesn't develop into anything in this game. It, the college stats may fool you, but NBA is totally for story. I uh, said so he would make some sense getting Kuzma, but I'm uh no he take him or Fox. I do take Fox a lot, but I don't know. Kuzma just doesn't develop in anything. Let's take a look at his potential doesn't even show, but safer option to take the Fox man. I don't know the safer option. Justin Jackson's on the board. Uh, Chris Boucher. I mean, I guess we'll. I don't even know what to take here. This doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just let the CPU draft. I don't even care. But uh, we ended up taking this guy, which I'm not gonna draft. But De'Aaron Fox will move to the team. Mountain we're gonna accept. Rodney Stuckey accepts his option. Glenn Robinson, George's name. And we have like Steve Boyd accepting. Uh, but every battle is auto generated. So all right, bunch of player options. But heading into free agency, if we have cap space, bro, uh, we don't. Which uh, I guess we do really, because we have these guys. At the bottom, making a lot of money. 
I could trade them and have available cash to sign a guy, but I'm fine. I want Fox and PG to lead this team. I want Fox to come out immediately and start scoring. Monte Ellis and Rodney Stuckey. I'm fine with this. We're not really contending yet. We do probably need a backup center and stuff. So I, I'm just going to dump these guys off. I don't even care. They, they, beyond me, they shouldn't even be here. So I'm just going to dump them off. Whatever. The uh, the Hawks want to... This team want to take both of them on. Because if y'all do, man, I'll be definitely one. The Hawks want them both for a second round pick. I'll do it. The Hawks, I don't know why you want them. But oh, it doesn't even matter. They're not even real. I don't care. Anybody else that's not real, um, no, about else real. I guess Rodney Stuckey is making $7 million, but I don't really want to trade Rodney Stuckey. He's kind of decent. Montel's is making a bag as well. We could just probably dump him off. He'll probably opt into that deal as well, but I'll just leave it like this. For some contracts out in free agency, I want to re-sign Jeff Teague. Mason Plumley. we don't have enough money to sign, which sucks, man. They're going to match my contract anyway, so we sadly cannot sign Mason Plumley as a backup. It looks like we can sign Jeff T and Paul Millsap, so I'll just take that for now and then sign a big a little later. But I'll just sign these two guys. We can sign a big in a minute, but I guess we cannot sign Paul Millsap. Only sign Jeff T. I'm really confused about that, but okay. I thought we dumped the guys off. It's Young and Monte Ellis in a second, or I guess that's do Monte Ellis and that is Young. We can get Dwight Howard in the first round pick, or we can get, uh, was it Robin Lopez? Or we could get Greg Monroe and Matthew Dellavedova. Uh, I really do not want to take on Dellavedova's contract. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, $9 million. Maybe we can use it for the future. But I'm, I like the idea of getting Greg Monroe as a backup big uh, for the future. So he's only 27 as well, so he would probably be first the video. So I'm finally changing Daddy Young Amante Ellis for this. We want to starting power forward or shooting guards. Only bad thing about it. But I'm fine with starting Rodney Stuckey for a year and then signing a power forward in free agency. And that young is really you know, important part of the field. So I'm fine with doing this trade. We get more important options, getting Greg Monroe. We have Miles Turner. So we have our center rotation locked up. We do need a power forward, probably shooting guards. So we probably won't be good off the bat. So we can probably sign. Okay, so yeah, we probably we need to make another trade because I know I'm probably on roll with this man. Uh, maybe Georgia Snake could start, but I just don't like. It. I don't. I'm not. I'm not having that, bro. Um, maybe Delavadova and Georgia Snake could get me a power forward. Who knows, man? But I just wanted to get uh like the idea of getting him. You don't get a power forward back in return. Maybe Jeremy Grant could play power forward. He's playing that in real life, but you can get a first round pick back in return. But I don't know, man. I guess okay. So we're gonna probably sign a shooting guard. Uh, Deion Waiters isn't bad. Justin Holiday. I wonder, could Jeff T go up at shooting guard? I don't want, want to move him there, though. Probably move Jeff T to shooting guard and then start uh, Fox immediately, but uh, it's probably a small rotation anyway. So, if we can sign Deion Waiters, that would be huge. I'm going to offer Deion Waiters a contract. I'm going to see if he signs. And he, all of them offers, he signs. Deion Waiters is going to the team. Why not have a power forward to start? I guess we can sign like Patrick Peterson if he signs. And then we can, Joe Ingles would be really nice to have right now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so maybe on we can steal him on day 12. Or oh, never mind. There's no such thing as the day 12 anymore with all these offers he's getting. Okay. So I guess, again, I saw a Bullock down here. Uh, he wouldn't be bad. He would be decent. So Reggie Bullock, I'm not going to one-year deal to maybe play. That'll be it, man. Paul George and Malter are progressing up. Glenn Robinson, Patrick Peterson. Jordis Nang, Della Vidova, and then Stucky is progressing downwards. But Deion Waiters will start. This team is not perfect. Not perfect by any means, but I think we'll be fine. Waiters, Paul George, Patrick Peterson, Molitor, Greg Monroe, Glenn Robinson, De'Ara Fox, Matthew Della Vidova. Eventually, I do want Fox to play over Jeff Teague, but uh, I just want to sign him, and then we'll just probably run it like this. Fox, Tennessee, and want his match with Jeff T, and then we'll just probably run it like that. Paul George, push that up a bit, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And we did make the fifth seed, which is honestly better than I expected. We got to play Stephen Curry and Jimmy Butler, though, so we aren't great with a really, you know, bad team, but it's cool. It's 25 from um, Paul George, 14 from Deion Waiters, 13 from Turner, 12 and a half from Monroe, 12 from Jeff T. We had about almost 10 from Foss, 7, seven from Laramba, 5 Patrick Peterson, 
and a five for Matthew Della Vadova with between 34% for three. I'll actually take that. We all know how good he is in the playoffs as well. So, is that Trey Murphy? No, he's not even drafted yet. That's Tyler Murphy, dude. Like, who are you, bro? But I mean, I'm going to move Matthew Delvet over to... Sh oh, I guess he goes down shooting guard. Uh, I was going to move the shooting guard so he can get more minutes, but... Whatever, but... Okay. Let's see. We all know how good he is, the defender, but... And now we beat this Bulls team, and then soon as they will beat them at five. Okay, now we have Toronto... The Raptors, so the Raptors have Kyle. So this team is honestly insane in the Stephen Curry era. I don't, I doubt we beat them, but we can see what happens. They want to start Green Wild, Rowan, and Miles Turner together. It's not the worst thing since Turner could shoot. Mount Rowe, uh, I don't know, the spacing though. He really hurts the spacing. What was Patrick Peterson doing starting for us? Now I think about it, 33% from three. So he was actually shooting decently. I I guess we can probably pay PG at the four and start Glenn Robinson. Well, we'll roll with it. I guess the Raptors we're gonna get beat in five because of that. Okay, we need to get a power forward. That's what we need to do. We need to either get one in the draft or just get or just sign one. We need a power forward the most. So, uh, in the draft we're not gonna have a lottery pick. Obviously, we have probably a pick twenty three. So I wonder if anybody would fall to me down there. I don't know if we need to get a new head coach or not, but. They get Anthony Hill. Yeah, if, if there were a power forward like in the draft, I would love to get Jaron Jackson Jr. Like if anybody, that'd be the guy I want. Getting Triple J on the team sounds like a match made in heaven. So wherever he's projected to go, wherever I'm gonna see if I can get. So ready to go top three. Wonder if I get the. I mean, honestly, I would love to get one and get Luca. Doncic, but I don't know. The Bucks are they going to take him or are they going to take Trey? That's interesting, but going to see if I can trade with the Orlando Magic and see if I can get their overall pick to select Jaron Jackson Jr. He kind of slid off our power forward issue, so I'll offer Pat Peterson, Della Vidola after being here. Uh, I'll have to trade George's name as well, so I'll get the deal done. I'm going to probably throw my all to get uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. And what if I do all this just for him to not just just for him to go one or two? If you can imagine. Uh, maybe I should actually not think. Maybe I should wait to see what happens in the draft and then make my yeah. That'll probably be a little bit smarter to see if he actually would fall to three or, or something. Because the magic of the team, I love to trade for trade with. I think we do that. Yeah, I think we wait. I think we okay. Then so we sign a head coach first, or I do. I guess we have Nate McMillan and so somehow, but. Yeah, I think we'll wait to the draft to see what happens and then probably see. So one will go Luca, two the Bucks will take Shea. Now let's see if we can trade with the Orlando Magic to select Jaron Jackson Jr. So Orlando now, um yeah, it's, it's a lot more smarter, so I'm glad I did this instead. Della Vadova, George's thing, twenty-three, uh, twenty twenty, and then a second to give their overall pick. They agree. Just like that, we are now on the board, and we're going to select Jaron Jackson Jr. to start at power forward for us, and just like that, that couldn't have gone better. So we'll take that. Uh, Paul George declines player option. Al Scott, or whoever you are, man. And then we'll obviously offer Paul George the bag. So hopefully he resigns. He does. And then Rodney Stuckey and Glenn Robinson. I guess I wouldn't mind resigning Glenn Robinson. He was decent for us. And then Greg Monroe with some money I want back as well. So let's probably resign everybody here. Uh, pretty, we're handing out money now. I'm not gonna lie, handing out some pretty big cash. But I also wouldn't mind resigning Rodney Stuckey to like a minimum if he's even here still. So we're gonna offer Rodney Stuckey a minimum contract for him to maybe this first veteran piece that I like what we build. So Jeff Teague and De'Aaron Fox. Um, we have Deion Waiters and Rodney Stuckey. I still want up there shooting guard. Paul George and Glenn Robbins. We have our power forward, and then we have Miles Turner and Greg Monroe. Uh, I wouldn't mind signing another guard or another power forward on the team. There's not really nothing out there, so we might as well just want to like this. So, I think we made the playoffs last year, and we did addition of Jaron Jackson Jr. It shouldn't make us worse, right? There's no way. And, and with the addition of Fox progressing upwards, we should be even better. You would hope, bro. Teague, Deion Waiters, Paul George, Jaron Jackson, Miles Turner, Deanna Fox, Greg Monroe, Glenn Robinson, and Rodney Stuckey. Give me about two to three more years, and we'll officially even win a championship by then.
in the span of two or three more years. Because what I want to do is I want Fox to take over and have Jeff T come off the bench, and then I want to get either a small forward or a shooting guard that'll complete everything. Being the third seed in the Eastern Conference, so honestly, really good season by us. We had about 23 from Paul George, 15 from Deion Waiters, uh, 13 from Miles Turner. We had uh, 13 from Deion Fox, 10 and a half from Greg Monroe. We had 10, 6, and a block per game from Jaron Jackson, 9 from Jeff Teague off the bench, uh, 9 from the Robinson, Andy Stuckey with 4, and then, yeah, honestly, really good season. I still do kind of, I don't know if we really need a second star next to Paul George. We might. Um, but I just, I don't know if we'll, it all depends on how a good Fox develops next season, but at the Celtics around one, so Jalen Brunson, Alvin Mitchell, uh, Jalen Brown, Jay Crowder, Al Horford, Terry Rogier, Kelly Olenek, see if we can beat this young Celtics team as we are going to beat them at seven. Uh, I have a look at the rotation. Are we running a, okay, so I think I'll run a rotation and get a freaking 80 overall, not even 80, a 70 overall, my bad, at the rotation. Uh, Nick, Nick McMillian has a high eventualization. We're definitely going to put that one down. And here is our playoff rotation. All right, now we got Chicago. I'm speaking about Chicago, man. Derrick Rose really just retired. Um, So we'll definitely do a video on that. But game one, oh, we're going to take game two. They ended up game three. We're up two to one. We're up three to one. As we're going to beat them at five to play the Toronto Raptors. So the Raptors at this point have Kyle Lowry, DeRozan, uh, Damari Cowell. Carol, Carol, my bad, Sergi Baca, and then James you know, Valanciunas. So this is the go to the NBA Finals. They're gonna take Game One. We're gonna even it up though. We're gonna go up two to one. We're gonna go up three to one, and just like that, we're in the NBA Finals to play the Timberwolves of Markel Fall, Zach Levine, Marvin Henderson, and Carl Anthony Towns. Guys, I mean, completely honest with you, man. I, I think this is. I think this is easy. I think this is an easy win. Markel Fultz is a fine starting point guard. Zach Levine is averaging 21 and a half. Wiggins. Like, I don't think we lose to a team starting a 70 overall power forward. I'm sorry, but if that's actually their starting power forward, man, we, we should have lose their bench. Also, is uh, they have a lot of guards. I don't know. I think we should easy win this. We're going to take game one. They're going to even it up, though. We're going to go up two to one. Tied two. Two dudes are going to hop. My bad. I meant to give more minutes to Jeff Teague. Uh, whatever. It's, it's fine. I could have fixed it that way, but it's cool. All right. Let's head straight into it. Um, as in some cast, look like we're going to be three to two unless we can come back into the game, which we are not. Man, I'll be really disappointed if we go home like this. It that would be terrible. But even if we do, I'm fine. Just running it back. Um, obviously making the finals, losing to a more probably experienced team is fine. We are going to end up losing. Uh, well, that hurts. That does hurt. But like uh, I said. Paul George is not old yet. We still have De'Aaron Fox developing. Trust me, I'm, I'm cooling, man. So, uh, draft doesn't really matter to me too much. We have pick. I don't even know what pick we have. It just doesn't really matter too much. But, okay. So, we do have some future picks. We can trade. Yeah, pick 25 in the draft. So, we could probably use that. Um, But, yeah. So, I think I want to upgrade. Our point guard rotation is fine. Jeff Teague uh, might be replaceable, though. Deion Waiters uh, is our starting shooting guard. I probably want to get a better starting shooting guard. He was pretty solid for us. Probably want to get some more backups. Glenn Robinson, the third, really good three-point shooter and rebounder. Jaron Jackson, so I think we probably need a backup power forward and a backup shooting guard the most. I didn't expect us to make the finals that year. That's why I didn't really do much last offseason. But get Deion you know, Foss, but we went straight into it. Pick 25. Let's see what we can do after that. So the 25th overall pick in the draft. Uh, we got, uh, obviously, okay, so Cody Martin, Grant Williams, just here a little. Uh, we can probably take Kelton Johnson with this pick and call it a day. We also have one more pick, I guess. Garrison Matthews, let's go ahead and take him. It doesn't matter too much. All right. Garrison Matthews and Kelton Johnson, welcome to the team. Uh, so let's head straight into free agency. Do we have any money to spend? We have $9 million, but I need to resign my alternate. Okay. Uh, we have, okay, so we have Fox, Jeff T, that's fine. I might look for a shooting guard, maybe even a better. I probably move Glenn Robinson there and sign a small four, but I don't know. I like Glenn Robinson, and then a trade might be worth it here. Uh, it might be because maybe we could throw Kelton Johnson, maybe Deion Waiters in the trade final. Does that give me anything? We can probably see. So instead, yeah, we'll do this. So them two should get me something really good. So Jared Allen, we don't really need a center though. Jake Crowder is interesting, though. 42% from three. I might, I might go for that. Miles Bridges. 
Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, OG Ananobi is a really good addition. I just don't know how much he'll progress. Clarkson, KPJ, Luke Kennard, but he healed. Might be the better shooting option, but I don't know why. He shot better from three. Jakob Pertle, Andrew Robertson, Devonta Sabonis, interesting Damian Jones, James Jones, or James Johnson, my bad. And then, yeah. Probably the best offer I found so far was this Jay Crowder thing. We do get like a Trevor Booker as like a power forward could probably play. And then Jay Crowder could probably play back up small forward, move Glenn Robinson to the two. And we could do something like this. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know that really makes us better. It could. But for now, I'm just probably going to sign somebody for you. See, I'll read time off here in a sec. But I like that, dude. We need, what do we, we probably, okay, so we need a shooting guard the most. I want to go after here, the CJ McCollum. He would slide right in our starting shooting guard spot, and he'd be probably a good fit next to Fox. But I don't know, man. I feel like him and Fox are looking kind of similar in a way. It's still how I don't want to do it, but still going to try. If they don't agree, it's whatever, but I'm still going to try. So Deion Waiters, uh, I'm going to have to trade Kelly Johnson, Garrison Matthews, and although a first round pick, CJ McCollum, they don't agree, which is fair. So I'm not going to go all of them. We don't want it that much. Hey, that's fine. That's fair. Okay. Um, I don't know what I have to say. I guess probably go ahead. Chris Middleton would be interesting. This guy Shea and Garland. Um, that's interesting for them. Chris Middleton, um, honestly, would probably be our best get at this point. But who knows? Uh, LeBron's not going to be obtainable. Uh, that's that. I kind of want to get a small forward. We can, I guess, Jay Crowder now be, be, makes us the option we could probably go after and then move Glenn Ross. Yeah, and then oh, I wanted to move PG to so okay, training Dion Waiters. What was it? And Kellen Johnson in the trade under that Lammy J Crowder. It did. So let's do this trade. I just do some contracts out there. So we're gonna re-sign Miles Turner. We're gonna sign Terrence Ross. We're gonna get Fred Van Vliet to a minimum and Ish Wayne Ray. Not really impactful moves. Only impactful moves probably these two. But I'll just do that. And then yeah, all right. So. Yeah, have everybody locked up now, which is good. There's like a power forward we can sign. We can still sign Kenneth Reed. I guess it wouldn't be bad. So, yeah, we're going to sign Kenneth Reed. And then hopefully that'll make our rotation as the best out there. So, you love to see that. Josh Hart went to the lit. I had Josh Hart. Oh, I was going to offer him a deal. But I offered him at the first day of free agency. And then he waited for, to get another offer to sign with the Lakers, that is weird, Josh. Are you could have just signed with us? I guess you did get paid the back, so uh, that's probably why you didn't sign with us before. Uh, all right, whatever. Josh Hart is gone. I wanted him for like a shooting guard, but whatever. Play progression. Uh, Jerry Jack is up, and that's all I really care about. These guys can progress all they want, but Jeff Teague is probably gonna have to be traded or probably let go off soon. He's gonna continue to progress, which sucks, but yeah. Hopefully, we don't have to make a move at that deadline, but if I feel like we have to make the right move, we might just have to, but I really don't want to. But your rotation is Fox, Deion Waiters. If we have to make a move, it'll probably be getting a, a small forward moving PG to the two. Um, but, yeah, that's what I like. Him. Jaron Jackson, the Turner is so, like, nasty defensively, bro. Greg Monroe, Jeff Teague, and Glenn Robinson. I moved them to the two. or in that rotation. You get kind of free in the rotation. And that'll be it. That does leave Terrence Ross out, which I do feel kind of bad. I was running on a 10 rotation and get Terrence Ross in there. We got to get him some minutes as well. 11 points per game of 37% from three. Got to get that in the rotation. So I will see you guys now at the end of this season. I will go to championship. Of course, we of course we had a setback in the most important year of the season. Of course, we were the sixth season. The most, of course, we almost went to playoffs in the worst year of the season. Man, it's, it's the most important. Uh, the West was stacked. The East was stacked, bro. Like, the Bulls were good. They had Curry and Harden. Like, what am I seeing? Toronto was stacked. And Atlanta was good. Boston, New York. I mean, 4 9 3, three isn't a bad record when you look at it like that. But, just whatever, bro. Uh, yeah, the East is going to be hard to beat. But I didn't stop at the deadline because I thought we could have maybe built something here. 22 from PG. We probably should have not look at it because nobody else really did much but Paul George. But, We'll, we'll definitely do, but the Hawks, we have to play. They have Luka and Jimmy Butler. Man, these duos are insane. Guys, we're going to go down beat it two, and we're going to go to a game seven with the Hawks. I freaking hate new close games. But you can just get out of it easily, but sadly, it's not going to be the case. So, yeah, if we lose this year, we definitely have to make a big trade. And I actually have one of mine. I'm thinking about it right now. But we're worried about the playoffs right now, as I guess we are going to lose. So, 
Oh my goodness. Whatever, we're going straight to the freaking we're going straight to the off season. This will be the last season no matter what. I don't care. So I don't want to hear about the draft. Okay. We need to make a move and I got some guys on mind. Getting Otto Porter Jr. or Harrison Barnes right now would be really good. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm probably gonna go for the higher overall and Otto Porter Jr. first. And he just seems like a great fit for this team. But he's making twenty million dollars, so I'm gonna be a little hard to get to it. Uh I guess we can I mean, if Kellen Johns develops enough, I guess we could trade Ross or something, but I don't know. Like, what do we even give up in this scenario? Do we give up Glenn Robinson shooting 45%? I guess we're going to start with, oh, I don't know what that was. So I guess we're going to start with Terrence Ross and then probably Kellen Johnson. You know what I mean? Like, just make it a little too much money, probably. So we probably can't even do this. Could be worth it. Get Otto Porter Jr. Uh, could be worth it trading all that, but I don't know. That's a little too much money for my liking, bro. Got two guys on mind that we can go ahead and trade for. I want to trade for either Otto Porter Jr. on the Washington Wizards or Harrison Barnes in the Dallas Mavericks. Barnes would probably get to be a lot easier to get. But since Otto Porter right now is making a little bit less money, I would actually want to get him. So Otto Porter Jr., we probably don't have to do nothing crazy as well as so Terrence Ross. He was probably at the end of the rotation. So I'm probably trading him. Just need a minimum now. I mean, uh, I... Do you want to just guarantee Garrison Matthews, I guess? We can just do that and then probably trade him. And since they're not in contention or rebuilding, we probably have to trade a first-round pick. So I'm fine with that, though. He's 85 overall. So who's the deal again? Terrence Ross, uh, Garrison Matthews. I guess we could trade Kellen Johnson. All trades 2021 are protected and a second to get auto reporters. They don't agree. Although another second... I will be comfortable throwing Kellen Johnson as well as they still decline. You want to trade two first for Otto Porter Jr., man? I mean, we're like at the end anyway, so I guess I can do it as they still say no. What about a second? They agree. So, Otto Porter Jr., welcome to the team. At an 85 overall starting string guard for this team. We got, I don't even know if so we got to keep Beyond Waiters, so we could just let him go. But Paul George does go down to overall, but I don't care. He's... Why does that keep happening? Why can't I fix his secondary position? I don't know why I have to do all that, but there we go. Okay, that's okay. So I don't think I'll be okay. So we have to add straight into free agency now. Nate McMillan, we could just fire at this point. Let's see if I can find somebody else. So uh, Underwood, D'Antoni is interesting. Be interesting what he could do with this team, Spolstra. But let me see, because where did Nate McMillan retire? We get him. I mean, I don't want him as a Lakers fan, but. I don't know. Did Milan retire? I do not see him anywhere. Um, where can I see if you're retired? Staff retirement. So, no, Nate Milan is still here. So I don't know where he is. I guess it doesn't really matter too much if I really can't find him. So let's move on then. So Eric Spolstra is an option. Um, I wouldn't mind offering Mike Van Tony something. So one of these guys will sign. I know for a fact. Let's offer that and we get Mike Van Tony. Okay, I'll take it. The draft, I really don't care about at this point. Uh, so we didn't have a pick, but just running it back. I'm just running this back one more year. We're going to re-sign. We, we want Deion Waiters back. I mean, I don't really know where he would play for us, but I know for a fact I need a backup small forward. So I guess, I don't know. if Deion Waiters play small forward? How much rebounds does he average a game? Three? I don't know. He's more of a guard, though. I don't know if he could play small forward. Maybe we could do a Sonic trade. For, yeah, we'll probably do that. Wait, I just noticed. We're just going to move Glenn Robinson back to small forward and just re-sign these two guys and call it a day. Like, we don't really need nothing else. So, me down where it's big hunt. But in the last year anyway. So, at this point, whatever we do now, uh, I don't care. So, you can sign with the Mavericks. I, trust me, I don't care at all. But, last season, let's go. I'm going to do this trade with the Los Angeles Clippers. We trade Greg Monroe for a better center. We're also trading Jeff Teague as well. Let's be honest, he's not really doing much for us. Ever since he lost his starting spot to Fox, he's been progressing, progressing. Now he's only averaging five points in 29% from three. So I'll follow trading him for DeAndre Jordan. Get an 88 overall backup big next to Turner, or I guess backing up to having a, a little more, a lot more rebounds, better rim protecting. So I'll take it. We got him and Turner now on um, the like switch. So yeah, Turner is probably having, he's having a career year as well, averaging 16. So I'll take that. But yeah, honestly, everything is looking really good. Auto Porter is angry. Um, was it a wrong idea trading for Auto Porter Jr.? I mean, he's benched right now. I don't want to bench him. 
But I guess if Glenn Robinson is playing better, which he is, we can just leave it like that. Then Kenneth will get these minutes until we hit the playoffs. So I'll see you guys in the playoffs now. The end of the season, we finished off making the third seed this year. Hopefully with this final chance of competing, hopefully we can get it done. Kenneth, don't worry, buddy. He'll be out of the rotation anyway, Kenneth Free. Um, this efficiency, bro, like, and as soon as you joined our team, of course, you were the worst, I guess you were the worst for the Nuggets, but, man, bro, uh, okay, and eventualization is going down a bit, so, my, Dan yeah, Tony, honestly, really good, so, so, let's head straight into it, so, Heat, now, Dante Exum, um, I don't think we lose to the, the steam, really, not that intimidating. End of the video there, dude, like, I, 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 I don't know, I just don't know what it is at this point. Losing to Dante Axum as your starting point guard and Alec Burks, Justice Winslow. Like, the okay. Now, I guess Zion was averaging 26. And, but come on, bro. He's at 87. And they have a washed up Chris Bosch off the bench. And eight, like, it just doesn't make sense. Old Gordon Drogic. I, I, I don't understand this team. Not by any means. But one it off there, man. On to the next rebuild. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.